Have you ever wondered how Nike, one of the world's most recognizable sports brands, started? This fascinating journey of innovation and determination began at the heart of the picturesque University of Oregon, nestled between the lush greens of the Pacific Northwest, a place that would soon be known as the birthplace of a revolution in the sports industry. Here, within the vibrant ambience of athletics and academia, was the genesis of an idea that would forever change the landscape of sports equipment. It was on this energetic campus that a visionary track coach, Bill Bowerman, struck a bond with a passionate runner, Phil Knight. Bowerman was not just any coach, he was a tutor, a mentor, a motivator with a unique perception of the sport's future. Knight was not just another athlete, he was an ambitious dreamer who dared to transform his dreams into reality. Together, these two mavericks embarked on an extraordinary journey. They shared a common goal, a vision that transcended the boundaries of the sport, to create sneakers that would revolutionize the way runners perform. Their mission was more than just to manufacture footwear, it was to enhance the very essence of running, to improve speed, endurance and comfort. Their journey began modestly with an initial investment that by today's standards would be considered minuscule, a mere thousand dollars. However, the magnitude of their ambitions surpassed any financial limitations. With this small but significant capital, they created a brand initially known as Blue Ribbon Sports back in the year 1964. Blue Ribbon Sports was not just an ordinary company, it was the spark that ignited the fire in the burgeoning sports equipment industry. This was the precursor, the foundation stone, the first step towards what we now know and admire as the mighty Nike. Their initial venture was unassuming, almost rustic. They began their business venture by selling sneakers imported from Japan, operating right from the trunk of a car. This humble beginning may seem insignificant now, given Nike's gargantuan status, but it's a testament to their relentless drive and unwavering belief in their vision. Their first venture was to sell sneakers imported from Japan, operating from the trunk of a car. But Bowerman was not just a coach, he was an innovator. His innovative spirit took hold of him in the early 1960s, when he observed that the athletes he was coaching were constantly struggling with their foot gear. He noticed their shoes were not providing them the necessary support and comfort they required. This observation ignited a spark within Bowerman, transforming his role from not only being a dedicated coach, but also a budding inventor in the field of athletic footwear. He began his journey of innovation in his garage, he decided to take matters into his own hands and started experimenting with different materials and designs. Bowerman was relentless in his search for the perfect athletic shoe. He worked tirelessly, day in and day out, utilizing the most unexpected resources in the of his vision. He used a myriad of materials, from old canvas to fine leather, from traditional rubber to space-age foam. However, his most inventive trial came when he used a waffle iron to imprint a peculiar pattern onto the shoe's sole. This design was completely revolutionary. Its unique design allowed for a better grip and durability. The waffle iron experiment proved to be a breakthrough. It gave birth to an entirely new innovation in athletic footwear design, a new type of sole that was lightweight yet sturdy. This invention was not only a game-changer in the field of athletic shoes, but also marked the birth of an iconic sportswear brand. In 1971, Nike was born. The name, representing the Greek goddess of victory, was a testament to Bowerman's hard work and innovation. With the brand came the iconic swoosh, a simple yet powerful symbol designed for a modest sum of $35. The logo was more than just a design, it was a symbol of innovation, perseverance and victory. Nike made its grand debut with revolutionary Nike Cortez model, an athletic shoe that was a culmination of Bowman's years of research and experimentation. The shoe embodied the spirit of the brand, innovation, comfort and style. It was an instant hit, swiftly capturing the market and securing Nike's place in the world of sportswear. The Nike Cortez was not just a shoe, it was a symbol of a revolution led by an innovative coach and his relentless pursuit of perfection. The brand made its debut with the revolutionary Nike Cortez model which swiftly captured the market. Nike distinguished itself with audacious marketing strategies that reshaped the landscape of sports advertising. The company invested heavily in emerging athletes, spotting talent before it was recognized by the wider public. It was a gamble that many wouldn't have taken, but for Nike, it was a risk worth taking. They believed in the power of raw, untapped talent, and were determined to give these rising stars to shine, which in turn, gave Nike unprecedented exposure. 
the company didn't just handpick athletes. They carefully selected individuals who embodied the spirit and ethos of Nike. These were athletes with a story to tell, overcoming barriers and pushing boundaries in their respective sports. Nike, through its groundbreaking advertisements, gave them a voice. Creating advertising campaigns was another area where Nike broke new ground. They didn't merely create commercials, they crafted engaging narratives that resonated with consumers. Each story was a carefully woven tapestry of grit, determination and resilience, elements that are intrinsically linked with the world of sports. Their advertisements were more than just marketing tools, they were vehicles inspiring change and fostering a culture of perseverance. At the heart of it all was the iconic Just Do It campaign, launched in 1988, a campaign that embodied an attitude of resilience and unrelenting ambition. It was a bold proclamation, a rallying cry that invited individuals to push beyond their limits and pursue their dreams fearlessly. This campaign was more than just an advertising slogan, it was a mindset that encouraged individuals to embrace challenges, to defy the odds, to simply just do it. The Just Do It campaign has since become a symbol of Nike's audacious approach to marketing. It was revolutionary at the time, pushing boundaries in ways that had not been seen before in the world of advertising. This campaign, along with Nike's commitment to supporting emerging talent, was instrumental in propelling Nike into global stardom. The impact of these strategies still resonates today, a testament to the enduring power of bold, innovative marketing. As the 90s rolled around, Nike broadened its horizons, expanding its global footprint. This move was characterized by a comprehensive strategy of globalization, aimed at penetrating new markets and building up its already robust international presence. The brand began to aggressively build stores and distribution networks in untapped regions, creating a ripple in the global sporting goods industry. It diversified its product line, not just confining itself to footwear, but also exploring sports apparel, accessories and even sports equipment. It was an ambitious leap that showcased Nike's commitment to being more than just a shoe brand. The sponsorship of some of the world's most celebrated athletes was another strategic move that Nike made. These included luminaries from various sports disciplines, from basketball to tennis to athletics. This helped to extend its brand reach, improve visibility, and further cement place in the sporting pantheon. During this growth phase, the brand's design and technology also evolved. It continued to invest in research and development to refine and enhance its products. Nike wasn't just about style, it was about providing athletes with the best performance gear that science and innovation could offer. The brand became a byword for sport and lifestyle, ruling the roost with groundbreaking design and technology innovations. This period was a transformative era for Nike. It wasn't just about growing bigger, it was about becoming better, leaving an indelible mark on the sports and lifestyle landscape. However, the path to success wasn't always smooth. Nike faced its fair share of criticism and challenges, from allegations of unfair labor practices to fierce competition. Yet, Nike responded by enhancing its sustainability and social responsibility policies. It reinforced its commitment to the community and the environment, reaffirming its position as a leader in the industry. Today, Nike continues to lead the pack through relentless innovation, from sustainable practices to the integration of cutting-edge technology in its products. The story of Nike is a shining example of how vision, innovation and strategic marketing can transform a simple idea into a global powerhouse. It stands as a beacon of inspiration for athletes and consumers around the world. This is the legacy of Nike, a brand that started on a track and sprinted its way to the top.